Welcome to the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2018 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Karol Okonski, who is the Secretary of State for Poland. Mr. Okonski, thank you for joining us in the studio. Thank you for having me here. Thank you. It's good to see you again. Yeah, it's you know, always I actually appreciate the time you know, that I can take part in ITU events. It's like something you know, I would say you know, extraordinary to, you know, to, to gather in one place so, so many people actually, you know, being responsible at, some, at the same time for the ICD topics, but also you know, also open to, to, to the then discussions and you know, just to building relationships in the meantime, so I appreciate it. Now, there's been a lot of uh, attention being paid to harnessing the power of information and communication technologies, ICTs, uh, for, uh, as an enabler for good, uh, for development, for the benefit of people, of communities, of nations. I wanted to find out, what's your perspective on this? You're right. I think it is very important to see that uh, with the proper use of ICT, you can really change uh, like right, well, for, for, for good, for, like, for something systematically uh, uh, applied, um, the, the, way, the way that actually the, the society and especially in some, in some areas that are actually underdeveloped, that you can actually take um, the ICT solutions and make the people you know, just close, close those gaps that they might have in them, both the, the communications and the uh, in uh, also in the well, in the literacy, I would say the digital literacy, uh, that you make get can get people actually involved in some of the areas about or either with the government of the or with the private sector, where the ICT can be you know this right link uh, that can allow people to participate in in some of the you know activities. Um, for example, you know one of the projects that we are very proud of in Poland. Is the project to actually uh, is aims at uh, connecting all public schools to high-speed broadband, and then you know you know you, you connect the schools. You say okay, it's it's fine, but it's just also an enabler then for the whole society, for both for the both the children, the teachers. You know can actually also provide the content, the digital content, organized centrally or, dis or distribute of high quality that you can just pass to and, and use in, in those schools. Uh, and also, you, from the very beginning, you let the people understand you know, the, the benefits, but also some risks uh, that are connected to using the, the high technology. Uh, because in the end, like you, know, like, like you said, the ICT is a big enabler, but at the same time, it has to be used wisely. Now this is this plenipotentiary conference, this is the, the first one since the uh, world agreed to the Sustainable Development Goals. I just wanted to find out uh, as ICTs, as enablers for these, and uh, what's your perspective on that? And also, how is uh, Poland contributing to that? Yes, well, I think uh, here the important, the important fact is that uh, we involve uh, in, in any in anything, in any activities connected to the ICT projects and um, the ICT capabilities, we we build them, um, consulting and and you know and, and taking thinking into the uh, discussion or bringing to the discussion all stakeholders that that, that are involved. Uh, and think very important is that if you provide the new. Um, Taking, for example, you know, the, the, the topic of artificial intelligence, something that actually um, is seen as a potential, as a poten potentially one of the factors that can, actually can influence dramatically in positive way uh, the fact that we can achieve the, the goals that we also for in terms of sustainable development. And then it's very, very important to make sure that when we develop a new legislation or any new standards, that we are from the very beginning, from the very start, address the needs and of, of you know all the all the parties, all the stakeholders that are involved in the process. So not that you actually provide like a long iterative process, but from the very start, you 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 take uh, to take into consideration um, you know the, the the different point of views that might, we might have from different uh, uh, yes, different parties, different uh, uh, different different you know parts of society, and then. Uh, it, it's much, you know, it makes it much more effective, and actually, I think by this way, uh, by this multi-stakeholder approach, so also very much cherished at the, the United States, United Nations uh, agencies, 
that you know, in the end the results can be actually achieved much faster because you, you know, don't experience the obstacles at the moment of implementation, but you know, you're actually in the, you know, at least to very too much to much extent foresee any, any difficulties you might have and do it just involve it and incorporate some, some, some actions from the very beginning, basically. Now, about half of the world's people are connected to the internet, the other half is not. What is uh, your country doing to get everyone connected? Yes, it's true that uh, especially in countries that have the, uh, some you know, diverse terrain and uh, some, some spots that are actually you know, diverse density of, of, of population, Poland is actually one of them. There are still areas that what we call what call the the white gaps on on this communication uh, uh, penetration uh, telecommunication penetration map. What we are doing actually is to first of all you know to make sure that we have them marked that we have we are aware that there are there are those areas, and then we actually in Poland we provide a special um, funds to actually. So, well, subsidize the the companies uh, that actually you know develop that, that do the uh, do the telecommunication uh, in investments, being sure that you know if there is no clear prof profit uh, profit behind the investment, it will be very hard actually to you know to persuade someone to close this this, this gap and and to 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 to, to provide the, um, the necessary connectivity. So by doing it in a focused way, in the dedicated in different areas. You you can actually also make sure that you invest man, money wisely of the public of the of the government, and that in the end, you step by step by by, by you know providing having the, the up to date map of the of, of your of your country of mapping mapping of the infrastructure, and you know just gradually will will come up to the situation that actually with actually every household in in, in Poland and, and and then in your in Europe have have it connected. Absolutely great. And in terms of uh, your message, your message to participants here at PP18, perhaps you'd like to, in a nutshell, uh, diffuse it to our wider audience here on the ITU YouTube channel. Yes, thank you. Um, I think you know what is important here is to make sure that whenever we um, talking with different countries, whenever we want to regulate something, just to make sure that we we came through the through the phases of let's say of self-regulation, uh, because. What we would like to avoid is you know, to, to hamper any creativity or any free thought that people might, might have by actually from the start making very strict frames and guidelines for them. So we should do it when we see that it's, that it's uh, necessary, but I would very much prefer the, let's say, the testing and experimenting first before actually implementing some hard laws. Because in the end, I think, you know, also at, at the level of ITU, combining the, the both the expertise, but also the, like I said, the creativity of different countries, we can come up with some solutions that will be actually, um, yeah, like like I said, self-regulatory. And then when we see that there is some special uh, additional uh, help needed from the government to protect, for example, the, the citizens, then 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 of course let's uh, we we should do it, but not to not to overdo it from the very beginning. Karol Konski, Secretary of State for Poland, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much.